It's actually good to be back, guys. Now let's get back to some more business and back to some more gaming news. As you know, the NES Classic was recently discontinued by Nintendo, so no longer can you buy the NES Classic officially in stores at retailers. You either have to go to eBay and stuff like that if you do want to pick up an NES Classic, which was such a shame. But recently, today, Nintendo has officially announced that they are going to be releasing the Super NES Mini. So we are getting a Super NES Mini. We do actually have a release date and everything like that. So if you do want the Super NES Mini, I highly suggest you go ahead and pre-order it as soon as possible if your retailer allows you to pre-order it. The reason being is because we all know that thing's probably only going to be another holiday sell type of deal. It's going to be like a, a stocking stuffer and things like that. So don't expect the Super NES to be around forever as well. If you want it, go ahead and pick it up. Now this one actually, in my opinion, looks more promising than the NES. I know a lot of people like the NES and things like that, but honestly, overall, most people can say the Super NES is where it at, and this thing has a lot of games, and the full games list has been revealed too for the Super NES. I'm going to be looking over here because I have a list of all the games that are going to be uh, uh, included with the Super NES. Also, we are going to get Star Fox 2. Now, if you're not aware, I can't remember if it's Star Fox 1 or Star Fox 2. It actually uses a different chipset on the Super Nintendo, so it is cool they are including uh, Star Fox with the Super uh, NES. Now, the release date for this thing before I talk about all the games is going to be September 29th. Now, I don't know if that's worldwide or not, but September 29th is when we are going to be officially getting the Super NES, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm actually going to try to pre-order myself a Super NES because if you didn't know, actually, I wasn't able to get the N NES uh, Classic of the NES Mini. I couldn't get one, and then when it was too late, I just didn't want to go to eBay and pay scalper pricing and pay, like, collector pricing and things like that for a game, for an old old system even though it was pretty cool i'm gonna try to get my pre-order in as soon as possible this one looks way more promising at least to me so i'm not too mad i missed out on the nes classic but if i miss out on the super nes mini i am going to be kind of disappointed because the games list looks absolutely fantastic it says it's going to come with 21 games including and that's also like i said including star fox 2 let me go over here and talk about all the games coming out for the super nes now, first off, we got Contra 3, The Alien Wars. We have Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, uh, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Course, uh, Zelda Link to the Past, Mega Man X, C Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Street Fighter 2, Turbo Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghost and Go... Super Go... Goals and Ghost, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, and Yoshi's Island. Even though it only includes 21 games, because I think the NES included 50 or 60 games, don't take my word for that. Again, I could be wrong because I can't remember. But honestly, even with these 21 games that are officially announced for the Super NES Mini, the games on this list look flat out fantastic i'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the games that i'm excited for on this list i'm definitely excited for almost most of these definitely first off we got uh one of the classic rpgs of all time we got earthbound on there so it will be good that we all get to experience earthbound nintendo still cares about earthbound so we got earthbound of course donkey kong country it's too bad we didn't get any more of the donkey kong countries maybe two or three but at least we have one donkey kong country on the list which is the original donkey kong country then we got uh, F-Zero. F-Zero is one of the best racing games of like the Super Nintendo era or the old generations. F-Zero is just flat out amazing. And then we got some of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite Kirby games of all time, Kirby Superstar. Kirby Superstar is absolutely a very fun game. And it's actually going to be a very fun treat if you can play in co-op. I'm not sure if you can play any of these games co-op, but Kirby Superstar is a game you want to play co-op. But then we also have a weird one. Kirby's Dream Course is not really a traditional Kirby game. I think it's a golf kirby game where you roll around as kirby and try to get in holes again i could be wrong but i think that's what the game is i think i remember playing it back in the day kirby's dream course but then also we got a uh, secret of mana secret of mana is a very good uh rpg game and then we got mega man x definitely very cool 
And then, uh, of course, we got the original Mario Kart on there. So if you've been playing Mario Kart for the longest time, but you never knew where Mario uh, Kart came from, it came from the Super Nintendo. The original was Super Mario Kart. And just a little fun fact for you guys, actually, it came out the same year I was born. So that's how you know what year I was born. Just wanted to throw that out there. And then we got uh, Super uh, Mario World, definitely really good. Super Punch-Out, Yoshi's Island, definitely Yoshi Island. I think it's technically called Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I think that's the one it is. But then also we got Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Oh my god, this thing is just getting more hype and more hype as I'm talking about all these games on the list. This thing really, they're really outdoing themselves when it comes to the Super NES or Super NES Mini, whatever they're going to call it. It just looks very, very promising. Once again, I wanted to say it does come out September 29th with these 21 games included. Very, very promising. Go ahead and take your pre-order as soon as possible. Don't know how much this is going to retail for. I'm assuming it's going to retail around the same price. I'm not going to lie to you guys because I really don't know the pricing of this. I'm assuming it'd be 60 70 somewhere around there. But that's still a steal for all these games. Sure, you can go ahead and emulate these games. Not going to talk too much about that. But sure, you can emulate these games or you can buy them on the Wii U's eShop or you can buy them on, I think, the new 3DS, some of these games. But just to have these games in a small a miniature package with the Super NES. This is going to be flat out fantastic. I think this one might even sell better than the NES just because the games are much better. Obviously, the graphics are 16-bit instead of 8-bit. Overall, this looks like a very promising system. You know this thing's going to sell like hotcakes too, just like the NES Mini or NES Classic sold so many copies. This is going to do so well, so don't forget if you want one, pre-order it as soon as possible. Again, it is coming out September 29th. Again, I'm not sure if that's a worldwide release date, but in Anyway, guys, peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out, guys.